Hey folks, this is Matt Rainwater. Um, all right, let me give you all a little bit of setup <clears throat> for this video. I am working on an illustration that I'm trying to make before next week. I don't even, I feel like there's so many question marks in my mind. Like, so basically my cousin's daughter is having a birthday party next weekend i th believe i'm not even sure i think so and i'm trying to get s this illustration done not just for as a birthday present for her daughter but also i'm going to make a copy of this illustration for my other cousin who also has kids cuz i want their i want both cousins' kids to have fun, cute pictures for their their room or house or whatever, right? For their walls. That's the intention that I'm having going in on this. Um, I started on this illustration um, earlier in the day today, and it was just something that I just ran through, you know. So I didn't record it. Sorry, y'all. Y'all didn't get to see. Uh, I didn't get to see me work on it. But I figured I'd let y'all watch me work on this one and see sort of my process on um, going from a very rudimentary thumbnail and ending up with um, something not as rudimentary, <laughs> basically. Um, part of it also, so. Here's the other thing about this illustration. I'm kind of building it bit by bit. I'm kind of doing this thing where I'm like, ideally, if I somehow manage to have the time to do this, and I don't really know if I am, but ideally, I'd like to have like a whole band like a raccoon band, a country raccoon band. That's the idea. Playing on a front porch. And uh, it feels ambitious. I'm not going to lie. This has been a, a common theme throughout all these videos is me talking about how ambition can be, can be one's undoing. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how far I get in this. I've sort of, I set an idea in my head today, like, you know what, Matt? If you only get these two raccoons done, I think you'll be okay. You can have a banjo raccoon and a guitar raccoon on the front porch, some, some kind of country front porch. And that's, a, that's an illustration that's done. But I'll show you. Um, yeah, let me show you. There was another one. There's a couple animals I wouldn't mind having in this illustration if I can. Um, yeah, you know, like, what about a raccoon playing the jug? What if this Blues Brother-ish looking bear was playing the harmonica? I have another raccoon playing, um, what do they call that, the scratch board or whatever. There's this, a fox. You could be doing something. I have ideas. That's all I'm saying. I have ideas. <laughs> uh, so, I just figured tonight, you know, I was like, well, I got to get started. <clears throat> I have from some free time. I'm in this place right now where I've put in my work for Trailer Park Warlock, and it's all the work that I'm really willing to do today because I don't really want to um, push myself too hard on it. And, uh, I was like, well, if I still have some creative juice left, because after I worked on Trailer Park Warlock, I then went for a walk and then made hummus. Because <laughs> <laughs> cooking is like my, um, cooking is like my thing that I do when I'm, not willing to do anything else. 
And I also just don't want to... I just I don't want to really play video games anymore, y'all. That sounds weird. But I'm, I'm starting to have this thing happen where I play, sit in the front of the computer and play video games. I'm like, ah, you know what? I'm wasting my life. Which isn't really true. Um, it's funny because I don't feel that way when I go see a movie or read a book or go for a long walk in the sunshine. But I feel like that's a net good. You can't, I feel like you cannot, that's an inarguable good in my mind. That's how I feel about taking a walk in the sunshine. You could, that could be the only thing you do in your life, and that's living your life correctly, I think. But maybe that's just a, maybe I have a bias. But uh, my whole point with all that, oh, my whole point with that is that I just don't, doesn't it doesn't feel good to play video games anymore or at least right now maybe that'll change i don't know if it'll change but maybe that'll change honestly i feel good creating i feel good being creative Let me talk a little bit real quick about um, what I'm doing here. Because I feel like, so looking at the thumbnail, I feel like the thumbnail pretty much says everything in terms of what I'm wanting to do. Just all the details haven't been filled in, right? So all I'm doing really when I'm drawing now is I'm just, because y'all saw the thumbnail. It's so... It was so rudimentary. So, like, all I'm really doing now is just, like, all right, put in some fingers. Uh, I'm not looking forward to drawing this guitar at all. And though I have plenty of experience drawing guitars, I'm just, ugh. Let me tell you all something that I have a little bit of. I get a little bit nervous when it comes to drawing uh, like human made objects, which is kind of odd. Drawing houses, drawing buildings, cars, forks and spoons and cups and all that stuff. Actually, that's not true. Um, a lot of dinnerware is easy to draw. It's pretty basic. But guitars are a little bit complicated. So I have to simple, and you know, this is a children's illustration, or an illustrated an illustration intended to be consumed by children. So they may have a preference for simple shapes. I don't even know if that's true, but that's societally imposed. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a. Maybe that's a social construct. I don't think so. I like drawing simple stuff. That's the other thing. I like drawing cute animal cartoons. It's fun. And that was kind of where all this whole idea started is like uh, one night I was just like, ah, I need to draw something, but I don't want to draw anything really work-related. I just kind of want to doodle. And so the first thing I went to was doodling all those animals that y'all saw, saw earlier. And, uh, oh, this guitar doesn't look right. Does it? Um, so I was drawing all these animals, and they're just all this, all the drawings came out so easily. I, I had zero difficulty just making all those shapes. And I think that's what made it fun is like so much of, um, I feel like that's why a lot of people enjoy doing like children's book illustrations. Cause a lot of times it is just kind of putting simple shapes together. This is sort of a, it's very design oriented. 
anyway, I like that kind of illustrating where it's just design oriented and you really are just thinking about, all right, does this get the point across, you know? All right, so I'm gonna, yeah, that's better. Cause I want the, I want the guitar to look a little more like it's facing upward. You know, another thing that happens is like, you know, it's, it's an issue of art as a career. You get into this mindset where you sort of lose focus on like why you make stuff. So every once in a while, it's good to make stuff that's like not for your audience, quote unquote, not for, you know, for building your, your readership or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Sometimes it's just nice to make make some art for your family. I know that's a fraught prospect because, oh, God, what if they don't like it? That can happen. But I have a lot of friends and family who have at least one piece of something, some <laughs> some BS that I made, some watercolor that I made hanging on their wall. Um they enjoy it, they appreciate it, and they think about me when they see it. And that's kind of, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Growing up, uh, my parents had a painting by my great aunt. Her name was Aunt Iva. And she would do these, lands like, Bob Ross-style landscape paintings. And, you know, she'd give these paintings to family members as a present, you know? And so, like, everybody in my family had at least one of the Aunt Iva's paintings. And so, you know, now, she, now that she's passed away, she's, she's passed away many, many, many years ago. Um... I still think about it when I see her paintings. The good and bad, because she was, she was an interesting person. <laughs> she was a little bit of a live wire. But, um, but I think about it when I see those paintings. All right, there's still something. All the dimensionality on this guitar is wacky as all get out. That's better. All right. Um, that looks pretty good for the drawing. Let me, I'll go, we're going to end this video in a second, but I do want to show y'all something real quick. And what I want to show y'all is what I'm doing for uh, the finishing. So I'm using a different pencil. I think it's this one. Yeah. I think so. Is this one? No, it's this. This is a this is a brush you can get for free in Clip Studio. I like the way it feels and it looks. Um, she's got a nice sort of natural pencil look to it, but I like how it, it it's very like oh it's thick and then it's really thin. I'm try and make this raccoon a little happier. Yeah, because the banjo raccoon's kind of blank expression, which I like a lot. Um, but <laughs> originally I was like, well, maybe all these characters will have b blank expressions. But then I was like, ah, maybe not. I mean, that's not a good idea. Um, so anyway, as y'all can tell, I'm trying to go for a very like natural watercolor look, which has been something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um as an illustration, just to, you know, what it is, is like, 
I just see people who do watercolor illustrations, and I think they look so good, and I'm like, oh, I want to mimic that. I want to, I want to be, I want to be that good at that. And it's actually very hard to do. Um, it's not, I'm not, I'm not good at it at all. And so this is my attempt, you know, for my own uh, ego. <laughs> My own wish fulfillment, my own like you know, the feeling of a uh, accomplishment and achievement. Because I may find other opportunities when I could use this sort of aesthetic, and it's also an aesthetic that I feel like it's going to take me a little bit of time to formulate properly. I feel like this is going to work fine, but it's not, I don't know, it's not perfect, I feel like. So my intention is with these next couple of videos, um, I will just show you all my progress on this illustration from beginning to end. And um, I hope to do, pro I'd like to do like three more characters before I do the background. And then do the background. That is the goal. And like I said, feels a little bit on the ambitious side because I still have to get an episode of Trailer Park Warlock done this week, as well as record a podcast and several other things I need to do. Because <laughs> uh, I stay so busy. And, uh... Yeah, pray for me. <laughs> uh, no, I'll be fine. Um, the worst comes to worst, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have it finished, but it won't be as finished as I wanted it to be. And I'll just have some leftover illustrations that, uh, you know, I can share with y'all. I think also something I'll do when I'm done with this illustration is it'll become a wallpaper that I'll put up in, uh, you know, for, uh, for my Patreon supporters. Um, so if y'all want to get in on that if you don't want a wallpaper when this illustration is done if you like what i'm doing um go check out my patreon you can get wallpaper stuff all the wallpapers at the one dollar level and what happens is when you um when you become a patreon member i send you a little message and it's a google drive file and it's a google drive of all the ma all the wallpapers i've made so far you can download those wallpapers for your desktop, your phone, what have you. It's yours to do with what you will. And there's another level, uh, the level after the $1 level, that gives you access to the progress shots, which gives you, allows you to see stuff I'm working on ahead of everybody else. And um, and then the three dollar level is all my ebooks. But one dollar is a pretty good value because you not only get the wallpapers, but you also get um, you get to watch these videos ahead of everybody else by a good chunk. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing over on Patreon. And uh, maybe. Woo. All right. I kind of want to leave y'all so, <laughs> so I could do this guitar in peace because I think I'm going to change a couple other things. Also, one last thing before I go. I'm going to fix... I feel like these, these fingers are a little too fat compared to the other fingers. Um, 
So I'll do that real quick before I leave y'all. Alright. Ah, that's almost that's almost good. Mm, all right. Uh, still don't like it. <laughs> that's better. Uh, maybe if. Like maybe it's this finger that's too thin. I think I can live with that. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to do this guitar in peace. Y'all leave me now that I may do what I need to do. And I'll talk again with y'all soon. Y'all have a good one. And later. Bye.